Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome to Valhalla! Alright, back into it! Oh, she wants what she wants, please, Jill bought what she wanted, she's pleased with herself, blah 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 blah. We already went through all the news and stuff, so... We're gonna head into work, actually. Uh, unless, the augmented eye, did I miss this stuff? Rocked by an earthquake, didn't I read all this stuff? Yeah, I definitely did. Okay, uh, we'll just head into work. Totally fine for me. December 15th, we should have plenty of money to pay what we need. We're good to go. Good evening, good evening. Oh, hey there. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Hey, Alma, I don't know who you are, but... Oh, apparently we do, actually. Sorry. I'm just, uh, just gonna go ahead and click. Hang on, let's get some, uh, let's get some TV going. We watch to protect Alma. Ah, oh, Leonidas. Uh, whoa, what? Leonidas? <laughs> Gillian. Marcelo. I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's boss? She didn't put the helmet bound again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. All right. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, are you driving me crazy? Yeah, I don't even care. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, uh, just something they made me say back in instruction. Kind of stuck. Kind of stuck. Oh, I went to school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. I love rubbing off. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. To J... J... Um... I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kira Miki girl came here yesterday before the concert, actually. Oh yeah, now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like... Link more actually. The stoic looking duo, right? Yep, those. Ah, seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up a dip with Damien. Ah, oh, I see. I'm sorry. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Um, uh, we've known each other for what? A few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all those pics you have of your boss, the ones filling your phone's memory. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true! Shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker! Anyway, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You! Hey, can you make a big bad touch before we keep arguing? <sighs> sure. A b -b 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 bad touch by type, because she's hacking, and now apparently I now know what my. I like my boss in a dirtier way than I initially. In Insinuated, I guess. Uh, rocks. Mixed. Boom. Here. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was the what, what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. Hey, yo, homie, what's wrong with LARPing? Straight up. I've done it for years. I haven't done it in a while. I miss it, though. LARP? Live action role playing? Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or a military organization. What do you role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? Yo, that's not what LARPing is! Those are hippies, yeah? He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... You see? That's the problem right there. 
You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know them. Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationships for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. But at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night. Your cat doesn't count. A year ago, it was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. Fuckboy? People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs, putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head, dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. <sighs> making me, making me, you making me really hot over here. Jill? <sighs> Anything else that can make you just shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, should you? Ah, oh, ventriloquism. Weird. A weird drink? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, not the same voice. Yeah, something different, experimental, uncommon. Let's see. A weird, hmm, promo drinks fit that bill, essentially. Alright. By type, promo. Uh, bloom light. Let's go with the bloom light. Two, three, four, one, one, two, one, two, three. On the rocks. Aged, mixed. Boom. Here you go. Yeah, this fits the bill. It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Red, uh, red. They leapt at the chance to sell drinks that would be un unmarketable otherwise. Oh. You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini, and then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? Well, that's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they've prepared just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they were called. I just remember that it was just pretty petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist's identity. Huh, wonder what they're referencing! The whole of la 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 blah 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 you blah 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 that's all folks. <clears throat> the whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It is no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet with the press made up. The antithesis to your usual boogeyman, if you must. So, you don't think such a person exists, then? Don't know, don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity. But it might be anything. An individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So, Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damned Alice Rabbit thing. Uh, I see. But enough of that, there's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out some time for too long. Oh, that. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No, I... At this rate, I might just crash your apartment. That way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. This is getting weird. Man, you react too no nonchalantly. It's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. 
In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date, I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out, I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a big brantini. Finally, that's the Alma I know. All right, easy enough. Girls got big titties, and that's all I know. One, two, three, four, five, six. How can I make this big? I can't double it. I don't understand. A big Brantini. I'm, I'm supposed to be able to double it. Six. Oh, right. It does that. I forgot. All right. All aged. Mixed. Boom. Here you go. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BTC got a hold of a brand of vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So, on a weird whim, they changed the name. Oh, I see. You know, I was wondering. Yeah? Don't you worry about that, uh, what people... Wait. Don't you worry about what the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really. Most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's beside the point. <laughs> I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what pre precautions to take, it's no problem. And I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs. It's not like every day is a thrill. Do you meet with your client, or...? I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can get ma as I can manage. I really- it's something about this text, man. This text throws off my capability of reading. I remember once I did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. For security reasons, right? Actually, because that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. I also don't have to lose time proving my worth because big boobs equals small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself. Ah, they weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run of the mill security checks. And I don't know, maybe I need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something, give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? Just things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So many Alice Rabbit headlines have me w made me wonder about the hacking business. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave now. See ya. Take care. Hello, sugar. Ow! Uh, hello, Mr. Donovan. Oh. Like my pop up used to, uh, like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck, and that's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Don't worry about it. You're safe. You're flatter than the field at my summer house. A bit of advice. You shouldn't provoke the one serving your drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today I'm making this a quick one. Gotta tend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says. Three days and he already has a usual drink. A beer? I think? I can't remember. Oh god, this is the gameplay part. Uh... The usual. Glad to see that being offended doesn't affect your service. I'm not offended, just irked. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the end result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? 
You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm? Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Oh, yeah? That big titty Lilim was here. She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here, anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. Hey kid, do you think Lilum have nipples? Uh, excuse me? I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but that could be modded, you know? So yesterday, while interviewing the singer Lilum chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. But I'm even more curious about the engineers that design them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits on a Lilum look good? A bunch of guys and a lesbo engineer wondering if the latest model's vagina is good enough? Man, God bless those sons of bitches. <clears throat> Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news, Mr. Donovan? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's nothing honest to share? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbinger Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece and even better makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They sent a message to some outlets saying they have proof of their claims. That they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. You know, right? All right, kid, give me a Bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. All right, Bleeding Jane, that is definitely different. I don't think I've ever made a Bleeding Jane before. One Bronson, three Powdered Delta, three Flangeride, all blended. That's easy, no alcohol, so he doesn't want to booze it up, that's fine. There we go. Simple enough for you, I see. So, I've heard this Dana Zane's bar, is it true? Yeah? Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some... Wait, what? Bears? Six years ago, a cash-strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced the ten enraged grizzly bears, she beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored, what can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had her prosthetic then, too. I heard, she, I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. They were so har hard, her arm fell off. But that sounds more like an under <laughs> upstantiated, unsubstantiated rumor. Yeah, that definitely sounds like not true at all. Losing her arm from throwing a baseball too hard. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning my second yacht. I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure she will too. Oh, I'm on break. Shit, son. Breaks are coming fast and furious. So this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with some more Valhalla, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.